friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. So today's project, I just making a tumbler and this is it. Look at this glitter, this glitter. So this is called Griswold from Glitter Champ and it is so beautiful. Look at the sparkle, like just absolutely gorgeous. And so this, this tumbler, it's very simple. It just says, you know, go little rock star. So I did it in like the brush nickel vinyl from Cricut. And I did that because I wanted like this matching with the rim since it was just going to be a simple thing on it. And this, this tumbler is sort of special to me. So I made this, I'm giving this to a friend of mine and, um, you know, she is just going through it right now. Like in like this, her entire life changed upside down. Everything that she knew is gone and she's got to rebuild it. And, you know, she's doing it like a champ. It's, you know, it's hard and she's struggling and she's doing it like a champ. And, you know, I feel like we could all sort of relate to that. And that's why it has the go little rock star on it. You know, the thing is, none of us have perfect lives. I, I mean, life is hard. We all struggle at some point. You know, some of us struggle out loud and some of us struggle very silently. But at the end of the day, I mean, we got to pull up our bootstraps and pull up our panties and move forward. You know, progress is just simply putting one foot in front of the other. So, you know, I just, I don't know. I feel like this is something that everybody can relate to. I mean, we've, we've all had different struggles in our life. I don't think anybody gets through life without a struggle. And, you know, the roller coaster is what makes it exciting. You know, sometimes it makes it painful, but it also makes it exciting. So anyways, I, I don't know. I just thought that she would appreciate this. And I think that when you have friends that are struggling and, you know, sometimes even just acquaintances that are struggling, just small gestures of support, you know, go a long way, you know? So anyways, I just, I'm going to give this to her today and I feel like she will, you know, really like it and appreciate it. So this wine tumbler, I got this, this set. It comes with a set of four. I got them at Sam's Club. It was like 20 bucks and it's got this top on it. And then it also comes with this top. So I thought that that was pretty nice. The fact that, you know, I get to give her two tops. So and I'm going to just get a little bit closer so that you guys can see this glitter and stuff up close. I just think it's beautiful. So here is this glitter. And I chose this. You know, you would think because it's Griswold that it would be like just for something Christmassy. But, you know, I've put this on a Christmas cup earlier in December. I don't believe I showed that to you guys. And like the sparkle on it just reminded me of a disco ball. So I thought that for me doing, you know, the go little rock star, I felt like a disco ball glitter would just be perfect. And I mean, look at this. This is amazing and I really I, I don't know what you think but I like this like brush nickel with the brush nickel here I just 
I don't know, I feel like it's simple, but just really like bling bling at the same time, so. Anyway, so this is my project for today. If you would like to see me put it together, then stay tuned and we will make it. And I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, my friends. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, so this one is a pre-painted. I picked up a pack of these at Sam's. There was four of them, less than 20 bucks. They come with two um, different style tops to them. So I thought it was pretty good. So I picked them up. I like doing these wine tumblers sometimes. Now this one, because it's already got like a silver rim, I'm gonna go ahead and still keep a silver rim. So I'm going to just go ahead and tape around the rim. Um, sometimes I keep, you know, a rim. Sometimes I don't. It really is just the feeling at that moment. Now, I did wash this with alcohol, so super important, especially these that are pre-painted like this because they are, you know, a little bit like slippery. And I just got this, like, it's like a pull noodle. It's a piece that came with, like, a turner that I bought at some point. I don't even remember. But it's basically like a pull noodle. And I just stick it in there. It makes it easy for me to give me something to hold and a way to set it down without having to pick it up over the glitter. This one I'm going to do Mod Podge. And now you can see there's a bunch of Mod Podge on here because I dumped my Mod Podge all over the table. And I figured you guys probably didn't want to see me cleaning up a bunch of Mod Podge. So I picked it up in my hands to put it back in the thing quickly. So I didn't have anything to scrape it with in front of me. So what was on my hands, I just wiped on my cup so that I could use it. But you want just a nice even layer of Mod Podge. You could use a brush. I like to use these makeup sponges, um, especially like when the Dollar Tree has like like big bags of them for a buck. I like to pick them up and use them. So now on this one, I'm gonna be using this it's called griswold it's from glitter chimp and it's like a christmasy color it's why i went ahead and left it green i feel like the green would be nice under it so we'll see how it looks i think it'll be good and considering the tumbler that i'm doing i felt like the griswold would be a perfect glitter to use Now, I like to like pour, get a good coverage, make sure that you put something down so that you can collect your glitter because you don't want to waste it. then you want to make sure that you save all your glitter. Now I'm going to let this dry and then I will, as it's drying, I'd like to go in if I'm using this chunky glitter like this. Now um, this is a little wet so I suggest letting it dry a little bit but I would just want to show you so that you don't miss it. But I like to go in and just 
tap my glitter down. Normally, I would let this dry about 15 minutes before I do it. Now, some people do like to wrap them in like wax paper and roll them. Um, I occasionally do that, but I don't know. I'm probably just not as coordinated as them. And sometimes I find myself like wiping off some of my glitter. So I personally just don't do that method, but I, you know, have seen that it's a, you know, really nice method. For me, this works, you know, just as well. And I'm able to, you know, have a little bit better control of not um, pulling off my glitter. And I like to just go in and flatten it down. And I will let this dry and then I will actually put a second layer on this. Everything is down nice and flat. This color really is so pretty. All right, perfect. So our glitter is all nice and dry. The crystal clear spray is dry. And so now I'm going to just put a nice flood coat on it. And I'm gonna do about 20 cc's and my glitter is down really nicely so I don't have to worry about it moving too much. Now, because I've got this tape on, remember I do wanna make sure that I take the tape off. And then again, if I have any air bubbles, I can just use my heat gun and take them out. Now, if your glitter, when you put your glitter on, if you don't seal it really good, what I've learned is that the glitter will just soak up the epoxy and it will take so much. But besides the fact of your glitter moving, I mean like it will take a lot of glitter. I mean a lot of epoxy because it will just soak it up, especially fine glitter. Right, so we'll let this dry and then we'll come back. All right, I have my epoxy all mixed.
and I of course used my epoxy mixer from Hobby Lobby. I love it. my epoxy on. Try not to lose too much. Uh. Now a lot of people tape off the rim because they don't want to put epoxy on it. I actually taped off the rim for the look because I wanted it to just match my decal. So I did put epoxy up over it because I like to. And I'm just making sure my epoxy is covered on everything, including my bottom. And you know, with it being called the Griswolds, like you automatically just think of it for Christmas, but it's just really a perfect, you know, beautiful color for any time you want something super sparkly. All right, so we are going to just let this run and finish up. Now I don't have any bubbles. If I did, I could just use my heat gun and, you know, get rid of them, but I don't, so I don't need to. And we'll just let that go and then I'll see you guys when it's done.